Good day and welcome. My name is Amareske and today I will be doing for you the End of the World book tag. This book tag was originally created by Olivia from My Livy for Books and I just thought it would be interesting to do it. So let's get on with the questions. Question 1 is an earthquake. Earthquakes separate the ground into mul multiple pieces. What is your favorite book with multiple perspectives? I just choose again and again this book series that come last here. The Ballad of Sir Benfro. Because, I mean, one of the main perspectives is dragons. So it's hard to beat. I hope it will be beaten by the Demon Cycle, but I haven't even started that book series yet, so I cannot say. But I just like this book series for the fact that it has like somewhere between 10 and 20 perspectives of main and more minor characters. And it's just a lot of fun to read it. And also it has a a lot of political background and intrigue, which is something that really, really excites me when I read it, especially when it's done well. So now let's get on with question two, which is an asteroid. You can see an asteroid coming before it hits. What book did you see the plot twists coming way beforehand? And this might surprise a lot of people, but I read a Gathering of Shadows by P.E. Schwab and there is plot twists in here concerning Holland. I'm not going to tell you what because that spoils one, the first book probably, but also this book. But I saw a lot if not all of the plot twists involving his character coming. That also goes for the third book. But yeah, it's so still enjoyable to read and his character ended up being one of my favorites. But still the plot twists were not that well worked out. I don't even know if all of them were supposed to be plot twists in the first place, but I just saw his plot points coming most of the time. Now I will go on with the third question, which is an epidemic, a disease that everybody seems to be contracting. What book does everybody seem to be getting that you don't want? And I chose for this just uh, most YA books in general because I don't tend to like them. I don't tend to enjoy them very much. I have yet to find a book I can rate above three and a half stars in that age target. But yeah, it also goes for the books of Rick Riordan. And maybe Fishes by Fee Schwab. There is a lot of books that I don't really feel like reading that a lot of other people do read. And, and the other note is there is a lot of books that I do want to read that not a lot of people do read. So it's balanced out quite well, if I say so myself. Now we go on to question four, which is a Tsunami. Tsunamis flood everything. What book flooded your uh, thoughts and couldn't get you of, uh, out of your mind? Or I couldn't stop thinking about this. Which I chose for a book that I have mentioned quite a lot as well on my channel, which is The Engelmaker. Just because I had like lengthy discussions with more than one teacher about this book when I have read it, and I have read it several times, it still lets me think even eight years after reading it for the first time. So I think very well that I can say this book flooded my mind with thoughts and it still does. If you're curious or into biology or maybe not into biology, but just curious what people in the time that Dolly got cloned thought might be able to happen, I recommend you check out this book. The English title would be The Angel Maker by Stefan Breis. Um, if uh, I will try and write down below the book title in English, so you can check it out if you want to. Now we go on to question five, which is nuclear war. 
The Battle of All Battle Between Humans. What is my favorite book battle between humans? Um, I haven't even watched a movie, I think, about a nuclear war. And maybe this book might surprise people because it, it, it is not necessarily a battle of an epic skill, but I choose the battle between the two main characters in the Night Circus because for half the book, at least one of the characters doesn't even know who their opponent is and it is a battle to the dead to the, yeah to the dead and yeah, you, of course you guess that some romance gets involved and i just really enjoyed reading the interaction between the characters and the way the battle if you can still call it that if you have read the book you know what i mean how it develops until the end and the sort of plot twist at the end I did not fully see it coming but it was really nice to read it the ending kind of fitted the whole atmosphere of the book so yeah and now we get to artificial intelligence if I have to name a movie for this my favorite movie movie would probably be Wally -E, which is a robots computers and technology taking over the world what is my favorite book I have read of any on any sort of uh, e-reader? Which is question 7 and I just noticed I forgot question 6. But I will do that after this. I haven't I have only read three books on audiobook. So I will have to mention again the Sturmkönige uh, trilogy. Now, this is one of my favorite fantasy reads, so I don't mind mention it, mentioning it again. But I would have rather had the ability to actually choose between this book and others. So, yes, this book series, so, so good. And now I will do question six, which is an alien invasion what I thought was the best sci-fi novel and I have not personally read a whole lot of sci-fi but one of the best things I have read is The Time Machine I already mentioned this one in a video about books that left an impression on me it just it's just well set out for such a tiny book it only has seven, uh, 76 pages which is immensely tiny and still it is a good story it took a little while to get into but then it was very nice to read and then I have a book that I have not actually read yet but that I like the movie of a lot which is The Host I have seen the movie twice I have yet to read the book, read the book. I really want to but I don't know when exactly I have to plan for that because the book is massive and I don't have a lot of time to read tomes but yeah i'm very curious how this is different from the movie because i have heard they differ quite a lot um but as i cannot talk to you about that because i haven't seen the movie i think i will go on to the eighth and final question which is an end of the world movie End of the world and disaster movies will continue to be made in Hollywood just like book to movie adaptations. What book to movie adaptation are you looking for of the, or do you want? I thought about maybe The King Killer Chronicle which I know is either turned into a movie or a film series. At least the rights have been sold and I would really like to see how all the effects will be done but I also would like to see a TV show of The Ballad of Sir Benfro um, but there is so many other books and mostly fantasy because they totally can be benefited from the from the effects that will get better and better when time goes by if i watch a fantasy movie now from in the 90s or maybe late 80s or a sci-fi the effects 
I would label them a scrap, even if they for the time were really good. But I think in that case, like, I would consider the effects of this day and time crap in about 10 or 20 years because everything develops at such a high speed. But this was my end of the world book tag. And on to the other